All right. Welcome everybody to First Look. Let me, try, let me take these headphones off. All right, let's try that again. Welcome everybody to First Look. Uh, I'm Frank Zaragoza here with Haas Automation and we're live from the demo room at Haas in Oxnard. We got a little laser engraved, laser marker there. We got the big laser marker there. I'm here with Brian. He's a tooling engineer and he's gonna walk us through the HL50 EXT. What's the XT stand for there? Yeah, so pretty much it's just a larger laser. This is uh, our HL50 EXT. It's kind of similar to our smaller laser, which, are HL, which is our HL50E. Uh, but the, cool, uh, the main similarities that these two machines actually share is that they're both 50 watt gavel lasers. The gavel meaning that they use a little lens system to basically kind of mark any logos, text, images that you want on your different parts that have good thermal conductivity. Nice. The main difference that we actually have with this new laser is kind of like the bigger volume. And if you want to come over here real quick. Yeah, let's take a look. I'm going to open the door and you can see how massive uh, the work area I have now. So before the HL50E, I was only limited to basically the working area of the lens. But now with the HL50 XT, I now have basically a manual X gantry. I also have a bigger work area, so I'm not limited to my basically my lens area. Now I'm actually uh, ready to go basically with this setup. Okay, and that's the gantry back there. You can go ahead and um, disconnect that and slide that up and down. Why don't you show that to yeah, us? Yeah, so pretty much, let me show you guys real quick. I'm gonna open up one of our side windows. Basically, you can see it's a lot bigger, win bigger windows. Um, to move the X gantry, all, all I would do is basically unlock it, and then now I can actually move pretty much wherever I need to go along this aluminum extrusion. Nice. So let's say I want to actually laser mark over here. I'll set it up, lock it right into place, and now I'm ready to mark. And you've got good accessibility to the table there on the side window. You, everything is kind of within arm's reach there, which is Ye great. Yes, Why don't exactly. we go ahead and just uh, start with a blank slate there. You can show us the software and let's do some engraving live. Yeah, so basically similar to our HO50E, we're using Liburn again. Uh, Liburn is a really easy uh, laser marking software that's perfect for laying out different images, allowing you to align uh, different vector shapes. But instead of just talking about it, let me show you real quick. So to import an image, I'm just gonna click import right here. Let me get my settings here, here we go. And then, okay, so you can do memes. I see Pepe there. <laughs> yeah, this so, is a pro meme machine. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, and basically any image you kind of want, either memes or uh, logos, company logos, uh, people's faces. Uh, that's the cool thing about the HO50E and the XT version as well. So to import an image, all we're going to do is kind of select this image right here. Okay. Uh, and just to show you kind of some of the, the features that Liburn does is you can actually play around with the image. I can click here and actually adjust my, how the image will look. Currently you can see I have a bunch of dots in the whites that aren't really, don't really, it's not, I don't want it to show up on my actual part. Right. So what I'll do is I'll actually play around with like the gamma. You see now the, there's less dots where the black areas were. Okay. And now I can actually mess around with the contrast and now pretty much these two images kind of match what I'm going to be expected. That's to cool. Mark. So that box on the right was there representing what the laser is actually going to engrave or as close as it can approximate on the software side. Exactly. So okay. this is your, your photo and this is like pretty much approxim approximately where you're going to be laser marking. Output. Yes. Got it. Okay. So now I'm just going to hit OK. You want to put some text in there? Yeah. So first look live. First look live. Let's do it. So first look live. And then you see it's not aligned perfectly. So what I can do is I can grab it, drop it around. My logo is a little too big, so I kind of want to resize it. Okay. And you can kind of tell that it's not perfectly centered. The cool thing about Liburn is that you can actually just select both of those features and actually align the horizontal center. So now I know that my part's centered. Okay. I can kind of come in, play around with the arrow keys to kind of you know get positioning a lot better. And now that's pretty much set. So, sh sorry, show me again. Were you doing something with the arrow keys on the keyboard here? Yeah, so pretty much like if I want to adjust like my logos and images, I can hit the arrow keys ah, okay. to kind of showcase Got the it. movement of the part. And you can actually see this and a little bit later where we'll show kind of like the framing. I'll show kind of how the key movements will move as well. Which a lot of these um, tools are kind of something you would find maybe like on a, after a uh, Illustrator or the larger, like the more 
um, involved photo applications like Premiere. Aligning in particular is a, is, a, is a good tool to have for something like this. Yeah, pretty much. So if you're familiar with a lot of like other software, Illustrator, like Photoshop, Illustrator, even PowerPoint, mm -hmm. uh, manipulating images and logos is kind of similar to that. Okay. Uh, but realistically, as soon as you have your logos and images uh, ready to import, you can import them right here, or you can actually create your own. That's the beauty of Lightburn. They have a lot of documentation that actually supports and actually helps users to kind of figure out what they can do with the software. Very cool. Okay, so what's the next step if, if we want to actually engrave this? Yeah, so next step, technically what you would do, and we already kind of have it set up, but what I would do is actually make sure that my cut settings are kind of verified. Mm -hmm. So currently, I, I'll kind of open up the cut settings editor. I'll look at to see my speed. I'll look at my power. I'll also look at my frequency and the lines per uh, per interval, and I'll see if it's you know to the values that I kind of set. Uh -huh. Everything looks good. After that, I can just hit laser. And right now, if you want to come in right here, we can see that it, like I'm okay. not perfectly centered where I want to be. I kind of want to be in the center. Right. So kind of going back to that kind of conversation we're having about the arrow keys, I can actually use the arrow keys to basically move up and down oh, the that's logo. Cool. Let me zoom in on that. So the marker is showing you kind of sorry for the wobbly camera. The marker is showing you in real time where the, uh, the marking is going to happen. Exactly. So basically, is in real time, it's kind of showing you an actual image of where you're going to laser mark. And you know how we we're talking about our 4x4 four four area with the, uh, the lens? Yes. So basically, I want to actually mark all the way up to that edge. I can't do that because of the lens limits. The cool thing about the, the XT version, though, is that I can actually move it over. Nice. And now I'm basically at that edge. Okay. So I'm gonna close the window up and let's run this demo. All right. So I'm gonna put the camera down for a second. Sorry. And I'm gonna swap to a camera inside there, inside the machine. Bear with me one second. Yeah. Okay. Ryan, whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. All right. So it looks good, so I'm gonna hit start. And literally in a couple seconds, we were able to get this kind of laser marking on our part. Ooh, extreme close up. And wow, that was it. fast. Yeah. Pretty quick. Can you tilt that towards the camera slightly so we can get a better look? Yeah, let me lift it up. Check it out. Awesome. Okay. So how would we uh, do the next uh, marking down the path here on this extrusion? Could you nudge it? Yeah, well, now that I have like my X gantry, before I wasn't able to, I had to you know, take the whole part out, put a new one in, or I have to like manually move everything. All I can do now is basically unlock this, move it over, I see where my position is, I like it. I'm gonna close my side window right up. Close the door and then boom, another laser mark part goes. Okay, let it rip. Let it rip? All right, yeah. let's do it. Literally in seconds, I'm able to move to the next position and I'm not limited anymore to that work envelope that I had with the lens. Yeah, in literally 15 seconds, that logo and text was done. Awesome. Okay, let me go grab that camera again. So let's talk a little bit more about this table. I noticed that you had some kind of fixturing or maybe um, there was a way to kind of uh, replicate the position of that yeah, extrusion so, that you have. So the cool thing about the laser is actually it'll come with these little part stops. Okay. And basically it's a, it's a way that you're able to fixture the machine. So in case I want to get another part that's similar to like this, I can then grab my part butter it up against slide up against those stops those stops and now i have repeated uh, location okay so you mentioned earlier there are two lenses what's the difference between the two lenses yeah so sta by standard the both lasers they get the f160 lens and the 290 lens so the 160 lens lets you do about a 110 by 110 millimeter work area so around like four four by four uh, inches while the 290 lens which i'll show you right here it kind of lets you do like an eight by eight inch work area. And it all depends on which uh, oh, okay. like lens you want to use. It's literally like a camera lens on a DSLR. Yeah, exactly. So main thing to also watch out for is that this lens comes with two covers. So you want to make sure you remove both sides. <laughs>
Uh, so good. It's a little okay. funny thing to mention, but yeah, it can happen where you might accidentally leave it on, It'll, it might burn. Uh, so we do actually ask you to remove those. But that's the cool thing, we can swap between lenses. The 162 will give me a better you know, detail markings, better uh, results. The one eight, the 290 will kind of give you a lot larger markings, not as crisp as the 160, but they will still come out, you know, with good quality. Which one do you have in the machine now? Uh, by standard, usually they'll come with the 160 lens loaded inside, okay. and then you'll also receive the 290 lens like on the side. Got it. Okay, so taking a quick look around the machine, looks like there is a, a fume extractor of some kind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is our uh, basically our fume extractor. The laser does produce uh, some toxic fumes. You know, depends on the material kind of marking. Like if you're marking uh, a lot of anodized aluminum, you're going to produce a lot of dust. So that's why you kind of want this fume extractor. It comes with four filters. Those filters, what they do is they extract a lot of those fumes. That way, you're not breathing it in, and you're not getting any of like a, any headaches from it. Okay, so I was going to go to chat. Nobody's there. That's all right. Um, cause we're kind of doing this thing off the cuff. Yeah. We didn't really uh, schedule it. We're, we're probably going to do a few more of these live streams, but if you guys want to ask questions in the comments, we will uh, revisit that. You can definitely see the difference between these two machines when you see them on both sides of the frame here. Um, anything else you want to go over? Um, also I do want to let, let, let mention that both lasers do come with a uh, four axis options. Ah. So if you actually want to come over here, you can kind of see that basically there's a little port back there where I can I, I can plug in a rotary. Uh -huh. I can then come in to the side. I can remove this bar. I can then kind of align it, you know, use the provided screws to kind of bolt your, ro your rotary down. And now I can work on the rotary. And I can actually even leave it up there. I don't have to remove it. In case my part's small enough, I could just leave the rotary there, do all my work over here. Okay. So I do all my 2D work over here, and then I'll come, I can come back and then use the rotary after. And I noticed that you have a few examples of some things you've engraved in the past. <laughs> what do you have here? Yeah, so I have uh, this little keychain. So we'll show this one off. Nice. Basically to show uh, different painted surfaces. And this design here that looks kind of like, I don't know, very cool design. Did you do that on this machine also? Yeah, so that's we wanted to kind of showcase. That. That's very cool. We kind of wanted to showcase uh, different materials and different you know, looks that you can do with the HL50 XT. Uh, you can see this pattern look on this uh, stainless steel knife, mm. just to show kind of like the different markings. We also have this cool F1 car. I don't know if you can see it. That's perfect. You can really see the detail there. That's, that's and, pretty great. And this is on a, a stainless steel part. You can hear the sound of it. Cool. Also, this is anodized aluminum, which kind of shows you the quality of like what the laser can actually output with. Uh, with the settings that you kind of have. And your coffee mug, <laughs> did you do that too? Yeah, so with this one, I did it on a rotary. Basically, I put the, the coffee mug right in. And then this one's done with a CO2 laser, but you can kind of see you're still able to do a lot of uh, cylindrical parts just using our, our, basically the rotors you find online. Great. So folks that have larger parts that they want to mark, Yes. Um, this, is a, this machine would be perfect. Yeah, also if you have like, uh, you want to do batch drops where you kind of have a bunch of those little stops ready, you kind of load up your different parts and then just move the laser, laser mark, move, and basically you can get uh, repeated marking by moving the lens. Let's talk about the price and how soon can we get one? Yeah, so pretty much this laser is going to be priced at around $25,000, uh, uh, but it'll come with everything you see here. It'll come with the, the whole enclosure, it'll come with light burn included, the Windows PC, It'll also come with the fume extractor and the full support of the Haas team. Right. That means HFO service and support. Yes. Sure. And if you ever have any technical issues, you can reach out to us and we'll help you out like right away. So get out to HaasTooling.com, pre-order one um, yeah, in so about a week or two? In about like a, a week or two, just keep an eye out. Uh, we're going to make the product live on the website. That way we're going to open it up to pre-order so that way you can pre-order now and get one quick before they run out. Yeah, if it's anything like its little brother, they do sell out quick. Yes. All right, thanks for uh, this first episode of First Look. Good job, Brian, and um, we'll see you guys next time. I'll see you guys next time. All right. I'm gonna leave the camera right there, and I'm gonna go shut off the street. <laughs>